Hey family, welcome back to yet another edition of the Opolo Tivasti Solutions. It's always nice to see you around. And in this video, we're going to be looking at uh, how to replace a screen, laptop screen for the HP ProBook 440 G5. So let's just start right away. We're going to be using this uh, tool. So we go to the extreme edge, extreme edge of the laptop screen, and uh, remove that, or rather unlock. We just keep moving, and, uh, keep moving, keep moving the tool as you get to the box. As you unlock those edges and angles, like this area, so now time to move downwards. Downwards. The screen was a. Uh, uh, Screen was a broken screen, so required replacing or rather changing. So once I reach down here, the donor part is a bit tricky. And it has some silver tip, or rather some hard glue on it. You have to be careful while removing this hard glue. So that you don't damage anything. Let's use hard glue. There's a layer that you have to be careful while removing. Once that is done, we'll flip it now to the other to the sides. We need to get off, uh, unlock this area so that we can get off that uh, folding angle. Okay, I don't know whether that angle is visible enough, but. Uh, Off that look, look that area. Sure that it's uh it's a bit tricky. So make sure that you you have to press your tool in 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 between the uh in between the the hinges and then you lift up a bit. 
lift it up a bit then unlock the other side also once that is done can come to this angle and uh, remove it gently uh, check with this other side also Um, once all the locks are loosened, you can then uh, you can remove this. Then you have to be gentle so that you don't break any lock. I'm wondering why it's not coming out. But uh, let's try getting it out from here. Releasing the, the lock. Okay. So we'll remove this gently. Here we are. It's out. So our main focus is uh, to remove the screen. So this is our screen. We have uh, we have two. We have four uh, four screws that we are interested in. There's this one, this one, this one, and this one. So we can remove them. Start unscrewing them right away get this out get this out get this out too get this out also get the fourth one out as well Done. Get uh, our screen. Just uh, get your pressure tool and uh, remove the screen gently, gently, and uh, just make it lie on the keyboard area. So now we have to remove uh, gently. We have to remove the um, the screen connector. Or rather the monitor connector so we have to remove this uh, attached we have to first remove this attached uh, silver tip it's uh, kind of hard we have to remove it can get my tool here Sure you remove it gently because it has uh, the, the, the model number in case you need the replacement once this one is old or faulty you have to use those code numbers so uh, remove it then now uh, here I don't know whether you're seeing it you're seeing that area Trying to zoom in this area. Trying to zoom in that area. This it has a, a lock which we have to first unlock. And once we unlock, we can just uh, pull the connector out. So once that is done. We can get off our screen. This is the screen, and uh, it's the broken one, the fault one. 
so we can put it aside and get our put it aside and get our new one which is this one just press it on the keyboard area and then uh, connect the connectors back connect the connectors back gently ensure that they are fitted in very well and then we take get the lock press the lock back so we can uh, once that is done we can put back a screen focusing on the the holes there are some holders you have to make sure that it fits in the holders the, the, those holes where the screws are supposed to be entering once that is done we put back our screws start with this screw start with that screw go to the next one which is this one This third one, which is this one, once that is done, I'll go to the fourth one, the last one, Done. Confirm that they are put back very well. So I'll bring back the screen cover. Start from the downer part and press all the locks back. Press back all the locks. Press them back. Press them back really. Press the locks back. Is done. Check with the back. Ensure that those ones are also intact. Once that is done, the screen will be okay. So we can check. Check and see whether it's working pretty well. Put my charger and I'll power on just to confirm that I have display. And there we are having display. And that's it for this video. In case you have enjoyed or learned something, kindly hit the subscription button for more videos. Thank you. Have a nice time. And that's it for this video. Thank you for watching till the end. And uh, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for being part of uh, the Opolotivasti Solutions. See you next time. Same time, same day. Kindly always keep checking for new videos. Hit that subscription 
button and the no notification bell as we stay together. Thank you for watching. Enjoy the rest of your life. Peace and love. One.